So today I thought I would show everybody what it is I do when I am not working on haunted houses. Well, I guess technically I am. <laughs> this is my haunted dollhouse. And I've been working on it since last pre-Halloween season. And I'm still, well, it'll always be a work in progress, but um, I've had a lot of questions about it. So I thought I would do a video and show you how I did it um, and how it's coming along so far. So um, anyway, this is the front. And I built the whole thing out of uh, cardboard and paper mache and paper. And then, let me get a close up here. The shingles are just black sandpaper that I cut into little one inch squares and then glued down on top of, of you know, one after the other. And then I dry brushed it a little bit to give it a little bit different texture. And the siding, um, I just ran paper through a paper shredder and glued it on piece by piece by piece and then dry brush that so it shows up. And then this are just, um, these are just wooden stir sticks that I cut and I made them really uneven and glued those down and again just um, brushed them. And the front door. And then we'll come around here to the side. And the inside, I might need a flashlight. Okay. Um, now, the attic, I haven't really done anything really yet. I kind of tried this whitewash technique, but I don't really like it, so I'm going to come up with something different. Um, Dollar Tree skeletons are all through here. Eventually, I'm going to put faces on them and clothes and actually turn them into dolls. But for now, they're just hanging out. Um, and... Uh, that's just a paper thing I made that's probably not going to stay, but it, you know, passed the time. But let's go down here and look at the... Um, this was originally going to be a bedroom, and it might still, but I have not yet made the bed. <laughs> all of the um, all the pieces come in a kit, and you just pop them out, like a big piece of um, really thin plywood, and you pop them out and sew them, or uh, sand them down, and then glue them together, and... Um, and uh, stain them. And so I'm slowly working at that. But there's my, um, there's my witch's jars. And of course, the black cat, because you can't have a house without a black cat. Um, then the little office room, which originally was going to be a bathroom, but that's boring. So I don't think I'll have a bathroom. And then down here is the main living room. I think I have a couch and chair for this room, so it's probably going to become a formal living room eventually. And then I'll probably turn one of the rooms upstairs into more of the conservatory, you know, with the, and, and put the, you know, that thing up there, the, the piano, music room. And then through this door is the kitchen. And I'll probably, um, I don't know, I've, I've got a bunch of furniture I still need to make. But um, I thought I'd show you how it is so far and what I've done. This wallpaper here, I just actually printed out of my printer and then um, and then uh, dipped it in tea to make it brown and then just mixed black water and um, black paint and water together and let it run down the walls to make it look creepy. Um, but that's what I have so far. And um, if you have any questions on how I made it or anything like that, uh, just let me know and I'll be happy to tell you more. Um, but this is what I have so far. And like I said, it's very much a work in progress. Very much needing um, a lot more furniture. And um, eventually, like I said, the skeletons will become dolls, witches, or I don't know, something. But anyway, that's what I have so far. And thanks for looking. And um, I hope, you know, those of you who've been asking questions, I hope that kind of answered them a little bit. And uh, here's a another detailed look at the at the outside and how that was done um but yeah uh, thanks for looking and if you have any questions let me know and um i'll keep updating as i keep adding on to it bye